Lots of mail today. Mega mailbag. Well, somewhat mega. More than usual. In fact, this is, I think, a quarter of what I have ordered and have coming in the mail. So let's see what I got. Let's start with this uh, big one here. Get it out of the way. Ordered something from Amazon. You know, lightning deals are very um, hard to resist. It's a power strip USB charger. I figured I could just use this to get some outlets on a, on my desk until I have a a real power strip behind it. I have a power strip that's really long and it doesn't fit in the space I have, so I'm trying to find a smaller one. Yeah, for, so for now, for plugging in monitors or computers or trying to repair something that actually plugs in, and this would be kind of cool. Put this on the desk, and I'll have some high-powered USB and two electrical outlets. Feels pretty hefty. We'll see what the quality is. Tessan. Uh, I don't really know that brand. Probably not as is an anchor or something. Right, move this over here. I just lost my phone. That's not the right one. It's an orange blade. What did I do? Right here. Look at it. This is a USB cable. When they tape, use, I look when they use a rubber band instead of taping the whole thing together. That's a thermal couple. This says thermal couple. Ah, another thermal couple. I did buy a bunch of thermal couples and some amplifiers because I don't, I don't own any. I actually, I just have some, I just have some crappy ones. That are just bare thermal couples. These are actually these are uh, let's see. this I think is a K type. Oh, this is a probe. So then with a couple probes. T one. I think this is the. This one, TP TPO2. It's a probe with the K plug. K type accuracy less than 400 C, 0.75 percent plus minus 2.5 Celsius. Suitable for measuring 50 to 7. Negative 50 to 700 Celsius, which is negative 58 to 1292 Fahrenheit. Suitable for measuring temperature of the air, steam liquid, etc. Probe is stainless steel. Sure, I can find instructions somewhere else that tells you how to accurately compensate for that. I just thought I'd read that. And this uh, says, Hua Lawn GX. Hua Long GX. Here it's written as one word. Here it looks like it's spaced out. H L K one M L zero nine three D zero four M six. I don't. I think the colors. I've seen a lot of times where the colors of these have to do with what they are. Also, I but I don't think it's very standard. I think it's just. Standard for thermal couples to have a one for each metal or whatever. This is the same thing. I just got two of them. Because if you temp take in temperature of something like if I were to build a reflow oven, you probably want two temperature sensors in there to get a better result. This 
start with the biggest packages. Hmm. I think I know what this is. This is either crimpers, headers. I think these are micro switches. Let's see. Uh, gift document, metal tools, metal tools. I got this on June 30th. It says Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I've been getting stuff really fast. I have to post. I have to take a look at the uh, the dates I ordered this stuff. It's been about eight to twelve days. It's been really fast. But they are crimpers. Oh, and something else. These are just uh, different, various assorted spade connectors and covers. some yellow. I forget what gauge yellow is, but yellow, red, and blue. Got some covered crimpers. This is June 29th. It says kitchen tools. Mm, it's definitely some kind of tool. My guess would be it's some kind of tool. Maybe some tweezers. Um, these are some crazy tong tweezer things I found on eBay. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I thought they were really cool because, I mean, they're like huge flat tweezers. Just seemed really interesting. Like, it might be that one thing you need for, for holding something wide. Maybe I could put a 3D printed cache on here that can squeeze it and I can use it to hold stuff or scrape stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I bought it. I just thought it was interesting. No idea. Actually, I'll put that back in here. June 27th, this says diodes. Pretty sure it is diodes because I ordered some diodes. Ah, okay. Uh, I already ordered resistors. I guess I ordered another multi pack of capacitors and resistors. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I think I might have ordered an empty book. I'm not sure. I have to look and see. I'm going to need somewhere to put all this. I think instead of buying a book, I bought a, a collection, a, a sorted kit, and then I bought an empty book. I think that's what I did. International. This is from Royal Mail, um, London. Hmm. Something very small. <laughs> it's a big package for something very, very small. Oh, okay. It's a encoder knob. Uh, it's hard to find encoder knobs or knobs that don't have pointers. I mean, this one has a pointer, but it's not. It doesn't affect the knob. It's it's on the top. So. 
all that for encoders. I only got one because they're not cheap. 629, June 29th, it says power module. And there's a power module. This is, I think this is a 120 volt DC, AC to DC. AC to DC, I think this is 24 volts. I needed 24 volt power supply for a relay, industrial relay. I think that's what this is. Very small. I don't need very high current. I think it's only like maybe 200 milliamps, something like that. But it's just for a relay. Um, oh, adapter. I don't have the, oh, the June 27th. I didn't cut that enough. Jeez. Mm, this must be a, some kind of STM board. Lily go. This is some kind of STM microcontroller. That says, look what I bought. I'll have to go look what I bought. I didn't have any of these, so I thought I'd buy something to experiment with. Pretty much all I have is ESPs um, and some AT Tinies. I've not worked with uh, any AVRs or this is either an STM or a same D. I think this is an STM. It's June 29th. Modules, plastic sheet, modules, modules, modules. I have no idea. It's all bubble wrap. Yeah, there's a bunch of modules. Looks like they reused the bag. The SX 1509 breakout. I assume this is an IO expander. This is a lithium charger, I believe, USB lithium charger. Battery shield for Wemos. This is a infrared motion detector module. This is a color OLED. Very small. ST77355 color 65K. For SPI color, tiny color OLED. That's gonna be cool. This is a, I think this is an opto isolator breakout. Yeah, it's a multi channel optical isolator. So I'll probably have, I'll probably check these out on a, another video. June 23rd, it's a diode. Now it's a bunch of jumpers with the with the thumb pieces. 
if you watched uh, my previous video, you see that I have a problem with jumpers. I didn't have the right jumpers, and I was missing enough, enough jumpers to use on the board. And these have the little thumb thing, so they stick out, and you can actually grab them with your fingers. You don't need to grab a tool. Twenty. So that should last me for a little while. Uh, June 29th, LED diodes. All right, more SMD LEDs. These are 0805s. Pink. Yeah, I wanted some funky colored LEDs, so I bought these pink ones. Let's we'll see what they look like. See what color they are. What kind of pink? It might be a pretty pink, it might be an ugly pink. Let's see how these work. I was just wasn't pushing hard enough. That's good because these that means these are tight. So I can put that on there and actually grab them. Change them. That's nice. Much easier to use than these little guys. I don't know. I might, be, I might get more of these. These are really handy. Alright, put that back. Put that back over there. Check on eBay and see what we got here. Oh yeah, those pink LEDs were. What did I do with those? These I ordered June twentieth. I got here pretty fast. That's pretty. That's a pretty pink. That's gonna be cool. Those look, look would look really cool on a black board. This is a uh, three to three point two volts on the bag. I didn't check the meter, but I'll 
have to see if I can find a driver for this OLED. Go ahead and start playing with that. I'll probably make a video on that. I don't know what I'm going to use that for yet. The opto isolator. I thought it would be good for if I do some outdoor sensors or near pixels. Uh, I don't have a charger board, so I thought I'd buy a lithium charger that was USB. I think I have some other ones, but they're weird pin spacing and they don't have a plugs on them. This one has the, the J, has a JST plug and a USB plug. So it's a USB. Then it's got breakouts for all the This is that multiplexer. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just thought it would be useful to have a multiplexer when I need to add a lot of pins to an ESP or something. It's a tiny little, tiny little chip. So I squared C. I think it's a 16. Pin 3v3 which is essentially a breakout. I don't know why it's got these headers here. I guess it's just so you can use maybe it's more bridge board friendly. I don't know what that jumper does either. That's the address. That jumper is BCC2, BCC1. Hmm. I'll have to find out what that jumper does. Where's your I squared C address in? Pretty cool. It's pretty small. It could be smaller. It came with it came with all the headers, which is awesome. I don't ever use them, but I just throw them in my header bin. Free headers, pretty much. This guy. So it's a 16 channel SX1509 IO output module and keyboard GPI voltage level LED driver. Eh, just a bunch of words. So this is a HRSR505 mini infrared PIR motion sensor high infrared detector switch ASS. It's a, like a dollar twenty-two. Uh, from what I've seen, these are really noisy, but. I would just use them to wake up something when you're near it or take it out of deep sleep or something like that. I'm not probably not going to use it for detecting anything significant. Uh, this is a four channel opto isolator module, high low level expansion board. Doesn't say what the chip is or anything. That was uh, dollar twenty-two. This is three fifty. One point nine six inch IPS, full color, eighty by one sixty LCD, ST seven seven three five, three point three volt SPI. This is a TTGO XI. 8F328PU for Arduino Nano version 3.0 Chrome Mini or Replace.
Oh, so it's an Arduino Nano coil. Well, that makes sense. It's just red. If it was blue, I would have knew what it was. Yeah. Uh, eight mega. It's a eighteen mega three twenty eight p. This is the MCU used by Wemos X2 is LGT8F328P and Etna Mega 328P compatible chip. Alpha 8F32PU is an Arduino compatible development board. USB chip is used in Thailand, HT42B534-1. Never, I've never even heard of either of those. So these, these are both clones. The USB chip and the microcontroller are some kind of clones. Uh, 32K flash, 2K SRAM, 8PWM, 16 megahertz, max 32. ADC 6 passageway 12 position, DAC 1 passageway 8 position, UR 1, SPI yes, TWI squared C yes. Uh, system logic level 3v3, switch from pad to 5 volts. It's got an onboard regulator. So I'll have to figure out what you set this up as in. Arduino. Uh, I got it because it was like a dollar and ninety eight. Well, that's that. Till next time.